That was easier than expected. The door has like 15 dead balls to it. The note tactic says, please don't open this door unless you want to get eaten by a giant spider. Even then, don't open it because the rest of us don't want to get eaten by a spider. It isn't even science, so you can hardly be expected to take it seriously. So... There's nothing here. Alright, let's go get that spider, I guess. Weapons. Fancy knife. Let's see if that knife is better than my knife. I got a saber, which does 5-6 damage. Or I can do a fancy knife, which does 7-9 damage, yes. That sounds wonderful. All right, let's fight it. Does it want to fight? No way that I'm going back in there. So, okay. Wander. What does that mean? <laughs> Just like the old saying goes, when life gives you cannons, make cannonade. Climb up into the washtown and take a look around. Nice view from up there. There's an administration. There's goblins in there. Keep them alone. Looted that thing that sign says toilet and goblin which makes it seem pretty likely that goblins use this tent as a toilet No way you're gonna go in there And I will steal this cannonball because I can I got salt, Peter. Somebody wanted it. The cook in, uh, in somewhere. All right, let's fight the goblins. Oh, oh, they look tough.
One down. Ooh. And they're missing. What idiots. Level five. Got a lot of stuff. Okay. I have no idea why I went to this for it. Just wander around a little. Alright, so next up is what a ranch is silver there's a lot of stuff. Go to the camp. <laughs> Manifest Destiny Railroad. That's a nice watch. Where'd you get it? I bought it from this gal that runs a store down south of here named of Button Willow. And why would I need it? Howdy there, who's in charge of this outfit? If I'm being charitable, I'd say that the fella over there in the white hat is the foreman. He points at the man next to the huge pile of rocks. And if you're not, then I'd say that paperback idiot over there in the absurd white hat is the fella you're looking for. What do you want to know? I love trains. Ever since I was a little boy, huge, magnificent, roaring iron beasts. They were magical to me like dragons. When the opportunity arose to take on management of this trail line, I jumped on it like a shot. And you know what I learned? What's that? Organizing and building and running one of these operations is the most amazing pain on the ass you will ever imagine. You want help? Congratulations, you're the new foreman. I'm going to home play with my models. Huh, swell. But, um, so we need dynamite to clear the rocks. Can I enter the cabin? I discovered a whole bunch of new stuff. Stuff some gulch. There's a lot of stuff here. This is this is I'm guessing the whole world map. I I, I don't remember where I'm supposed to go. Well, that's quite a detour. How did I discover that?
Since you have no reason to believe these tracks may be fake, you could either follow them or head in the opposite direction. Follow them. Yeah, that's kind of stupid. But since I'm here, let's get to the silver platter. This is unusual. In this wooded area, out in the middle of nowhere, a goblin has constructed a little lean-to with a rough wooden counter. It looks like something a kid would sell lemonade out of. Except instead of lemonade, they've got a display of shiny bits of jewelry. Hello, many hello to you, good human. Are you to having interest in a fine example of goblin jewelry craft? Well, let's talk to it. I learned goblin tongue, haven't I? Oh no, my skill is to selling them. These I am buying from goblin artisans and the savings to passing along to you, a customer. What does he have? Rings are 100 meat for buying. Wait a minute, I wanted to rob him. What do you want? I think there's another ranch in this area. I don't know nothing about it, but it's pretty new. So this enchant, this will enchant your hat to add one to your maximum action points. Okay. I can plate my weapon, but the thing is I can, I might, I might want to change melee weapon. Never mind. Let's just keep discovering new places. You know what? Just fight the goblin. I will fight everyone. Oh! Whoa! That's... That's not good, but at least I have two action points. I think he's gonna kill me. Holy crap. How much... Well, his one hit kills. I had... It, 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 he, one of his hits. takes away more than half of my health. So that sucks. Should I lasso him? Okay, and now I can shoot him. Right, right. And then I will shoot him again. I think that's uh, that's the way to do it. I think I lost my lasso, though. A jaw harp.
Do, is a lasso a one-time thing? Like a, it's just rope. Why is it used up? Oh well, I was gonna die, so I guess it's better to use up a lasso than to die. All right, herbal remedies. can be given to me. If I find an army hat for this person. Uh, farming. So, okay. Nothing here. Hmm. Let's go find that army hat. Whoa. That is a lot of dead. Let's read the Necromancer's Tome. It seems to have been written by one of Necromancer's cultists. He and several others were reanimating the dead soldiers here on the theory that the best undead army would be a literal undead army. The hitch in the plan came when they raised the officers who decided they weren't going to take orders from a bunch of weirdo civilians. The last entry suggests the author and his cohorts were planning on abandoning their station and reporting back to the Necromancer. But the entry ends abruptly in the middle of the sentence. This mass grave is absolutely teeming with those skeletal riflemen. They don't seem to be interested in getting out, but you could definitely jump in there if you were itching for a fight. Um, uh, no. I don't know, I'm, uh, after the last one. Okay, you know what, let's fight it. Why not? Ooh. This one is... This one is tough. I don't think I might even kill him. Gonna make it out barely, it seems. If I have two action points, why am I only using? one of them. Knew it. 
military grade whiskey. What is military grade whiskey? So I wanted an army hat, I guess. But I'm not finding an army hat. this okay it's your funeral whatever grandma you've got a skill grinning skull as you turn over the last page the book vanishes spooky uh, okay I can pick a skill uh, shoot nanny a skill that lets you fire a whole bunch of bullets at random targets uh, gives you quick on the draw, a skill that increases your speed, or a strong medicine, combat skill that temporarily increases your muscle, mysticality, and moxie. I have no idea what any of this is, but quick on the draw, I think. Let's see what I got. I got quick on the draw. This means plus one speed. And I got grinning skull. Okay. So that's pretty cool. I get XP for flushing toilets. If this is a giant map of the region, shouldn't it reveal to me all the all the towns? Can I steal a hat? If they don't mind, I mean Let's fight it. Somebody up. Whoa. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Shooting me, assholes. I was really hoping to kill this guy, and he has one HP. This sucks. This is not going well. Uh, 
I think I'm gonna die. But perhaps... Excellent. This is working out. Do I want to fight more? No, I don't. I don't want to fight anymore. Hold on. Did I get a, did I get any any hats? No, I didn't. Where would I go next, then? Hmm. Dynamite Dan. Hello, Dynamite Dan. Here's a supply of dynamite I can buy. Well, that's... That's, uh... That sounds like a good deal, but I, I guess I don't use that much dynamite as of yet. Let's keep going. And I somehow keep discovering locations that are nowhere near me. Mm, I am struck with a profound awe and a terrible stench as I discover the largest road apple ever seen. I can't even imagine how this got there. Was it a giant horse? Was it 200 normal sized horses acting collaboratively? They, they should have sent a poet. Wait a minute. This is a lot of free XP. And I guess that's the whole point of this thing. Okay. Let's try to get to the Butterfield Range. When you get it closer, you realize that it was the sun reflecting off the lens of a discarded pair of binoculars. Excellent. <laughs> they will also come in pairs because otherwise they wouldn't be binoculars. All right, this is an angry looking cow. Let's fight it. A hell cow. Hopefully it doesn't kill me at once. Oh, it's pretty... No, it's just Susie is pretty weak. So... I got a roasted cow town. How did he get roasted? Is it better than than whatever I'm sporting? Seven nine and three moxie, or six nine and deals hot damage instead of physical. Uh, it's hard to tell if it's better. 